Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to a very relaxed sneak peek week. This is the new lounge dress. Now, it's no surprise to anyone that loungewear is trending and we've got the foxy legs, we've got the pleats to meet your pants, which can be super relaxed or dressed up. We've got the amazing unwind sweater. So what would be more perfect to add to the collection? A lounge dress. It is so comfortable, but in that awesome pattern emporium way, it's super versatile. So depending on your fabric, depending on the elements you choose, you can make it for summer or winter or that in-between trans-seasonal look. Um, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can take it to the beach, you can take it to the park. You can wear it out on your balcony with a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, however you want, watching the kids play, sewing up some more lounging on the lounge, doing a bit of online fabric shopping. It is gorgeously comfortable, gorgeously versatile, and so fast and easy to sew. You will, <laughs> every single one I sewed up, I would lay it out and I'd be like, oh no, I'll just whip up a quick one. I won't worry about pockets. Most of them, I ended up adding pockets because pockets, <laughs> where else would you put your hands? So other than amazing comfort and loungeability, let's talk about the features of this dress. So let's talk about the necklines. There's a crew neck, which is perfect in our Queensland weather because it protects that part of your chest from the sun. So you've got like a totally lovely closed look. There is a relaxed neck that is just easy and comfortable. And if you like a more open neck, there is the low neck. Um, depending on your fabric, I would probably recommend you try the relaxed neck first. The low neck is wide and open, so make sure you have elastane in your fabric for that one. Then we have a gorgeously low open V-neck. Um, it's about the same openness as the relaxed. And then we round it off with a hood and a funnel neck for just a really lovely winter look. And on the pattern, you'll see little keys that show which necklines go together so you know which one to cut for the style that you're making. So there are a lot of necklines, so just take your time to work out which one goes with which, and it's really, really simple to put together. So we have a variety of sleeves. I have added a couple of options, um, and you can add these to your unwind to make a little top as well if you want to. So we have the long sleeve with the cuff. The cuff is gorgeously relaxed, so it's just easy. We then have the half sleeve with the cuff, like this one, and then I've added an extended sleeve. So what that is, is you cut it at the half and then there's an extended cuff. Why this is perfect, it's great for colour blocking, but it's also great if your fabric is narrow or your arms are longer, so you can extend that piece. Then there is the short sleeve, so that's a long short sleeve. Above the elbow, no cuff. And then we have the cutest little cap sleeve so it's just really easy really simple makes a fantastic um like cover up beach dress in swim fabric which i have to show you um surprisingly in a floral so all of the sleeves are with this gorgeously easy bat wing silhouette there's no sleeve there's no armhole that you have to put in it is all cut in one piece super easy really really fast to sew and if you're a beginner, it is an awesome beginner's pattern. Now the shape. The shape is very, very easy, comfortable, relaxed. It is a slightly shaped A-line, but it does, there is plenty of room. I didn't want a shape that fit tightly, that you had to wear special underwear or anything like that. I have on cotton knickers and a bra, my favorite bra that I bought probably 20 years ago. Um, so, <laughs> No special shapewear, no special underwear needed for this one. And that leads us to the hemlines. There are three different hemlines you can do. There is a regular, just straight, slightly curved um, hemline, easy. Then there are two um, shaped hemlines. There is this one, which is the shirt tail. So that dips down at the front and down at the back, slightly longer at the back. And then there is a high-low hemline. So the same at the back, so just slightly below the knees. And then it's, it curves upwards more above the knees um, at the front. 
Um, little secret to this pattern, length is important. Um, on page five, you'll see the finished lengths. Um, take the time to measure. And even if you don't, try your dress on before you hem it because hemming it and having it the right length makes a massive, massive difference. So ideally, you want it to sit just above the knee. It just gives that really nice balance that worked. we found worked in testing for all shapes, all sizes, um, to have that just above the knee. If you want to do it below the knee, go ahead. Your dress, you can do it any way you want. Um, but that is just a little factor, a little tip that we found useful in testing. Oh, and the pockets. The pocket is easy. It's a one layer pocket, so you've got nothing hanging down. It's just the pocket bag is one and it's sewn to the inside. You have a little pocket opening that is just a simple ap application of banding and then top stitching, really easy to do. And I take you through step by step in the tutorial. Um, I've done a few of them in contrast, so you will be able to see what it looks like on other fabrics. Next up, fabrics. What sort of fabrics can you use for this dress? Okay, it's designed for stretch knit fabrics. So your fabric has to be a knit, has to be stretchy. Um, whether it's two way or four way, whether it has elastane, is up to you. You do get a better fit with elastane. Um, and if your fabric doesn't have elastane, you do need to be very careful of your neckline and your cuffs stretching out of shape. It is doable though. Same as the unwind, it really is versatile in your fabrics that you can use and it really just pays to be educated. On um, page six and seven, um, I'm pretty sure that's right. On page six and seven, you'll find um, I chat a little bit about fabrics. I chat a little bit about um, what sort of fabrics you can use and what you have to keep in mind when choosing your fabric. So if you do go into a two-way stretch, um, which is basically stretch this way and not and just give this way, um, the things to take into account when you're sewing it. So the ladies have used a real variety of fabrics as I have in my video, which I will show you in a minute. Uh, double brush poly, cotton lycra, swim fabric, French terry, velour, ponty. It really depends on the sort of dress that you're trying to create. I sort of find the most important element is your print. If you have a great print, then it's gonna make a great dress. Um, but take into account, you know, the body of your fabric. So if you are wanting something that is really soft and comfortable like this, you probably wouldn't use a ponty or a French terry because that will tend to sit with a little bit more, um, it has a stronger personality. <laughs> so you will see it rather than your body through it. Whereas one like this, you can, yours is a stronger personality. So you can see your body because it drapes to your body. So don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below so that you get to see all my videos and you can stay up to date on what is our latest offerings. Okay, let's jump into having a look at these dresses. Let's start with the cap sleeve. So this is the same fabric, but a different colorway in my introduction fabric. And this is the gorgeous little cap sleeve. It's so easy to sew and just so lovely to wear perfect for our summer weather coming up. With this one I've added the relaxed neckline and I've just used a contrast fabric and then I've used the same contrast on the pocket so I've just matched the colours. If you want to use a contrast just match the colours back um, and then it doesn't matter what the prints are if your colours are matching. And then the shirt tail hemline so longer at the front and shorter at the back very very easy and comfortable to wear and again this is a double brush poly from knit pop isn't she cute and then if you did want to dress that up a little bit with the heel still totally adorable out to lunch dress yes it's a lounge dress but who's to say that you have to restrict yourself to just lounging around Use an incredible print like this one. A pair of boots, or just something a little bit more of a statement, a little bit of a heel, 
and you have a perfectly fabulous dress for being out and about. Contrast pockets. And then I've done the same fabric in the neckline, the little cap sleeve, and this is the crew neck. And then my favorite, <laughs> the shirt tail hemline. Absolutely gorgeous. Or just a plain pair of sneakers to complete your look. This amazing fabric is a crepe knit from May Designs and it's a, a Lady McElroy print and it is so beautifully graphic. Her fabric prints are incredible. Um, now, crepe knit. If you see a crepe knit, buy it. It is such a beautiful fabric to sew in. It's one of those fabrics that really holds its shape well, but is also super, super versatile um, so that you can sew it for work or for home and it, it works incredibly well for both. Let's talk Christmas and sleepwear. Isn't this fabulous? Look at that. Little reindeers, cotton lycra. This is from Wattle Hill Design and it is so adorable. So adorable. Um, again, we have the crew neck and the cap sleeve and the shirt tail hemline. And you can see sits just above my knee and then just below at the back. Super, super cute. And you can see in cotton lycra how you can still see because it has that A-line shape. And especially with the cap sleeve, it really gives that shape and it raises up your, your waistline. So take the time to get the length, right sleeve for you, and just learn the different fabrics because they all are really, really different. Um, and then if you need to multi-size or you feel your, your dress is a little bit too big, just have a look at the back of the tutorial and we show you how to multi-size. It's super easy to take it a little, take it in a little bit up the side, but I recommend making your first one without pockets if you're unsure of um, your size so that you can take it in and then put those changes on your pattern. And then the next one you can add in a pocket. So you can see it makes a perfectly adorable nighty as well. And look at my pockets, aren't they adorable? How many of you sewed the sachet shorts to wear to the beach and it totally revolutionized the way you felt about wearing swimmers to the beach? Same idea with this dress, this, is swim fabric. So basically you can chase the kids at the beach or you know play around the pool, you can get splashed and it will dry quickly because it's swim fabric. You don't have to hem it. I've hemmed the sleeve but you don't have to, you can just whip the hem allowance off and then this is the amazing v-neck. Isn't it gorgeous? And it is so so simple to do. So if you've not done a v-neck before um, this pattern will show you how to do one. It's really, really easy. As long as you take it step by step by step, read all the instructions, don't skip ahead, um, do all the basting. It is actually quicker and easier than you think. So the cap sleeve, and as I said, the V-neck, and I've done it in a contrast fabric. Um, and then the same, I've done the pockets in a contrast fabric. Again, the shirt tail hemline, I'm sorry, I just love it so much. <laughs> and super, super comfortable, pop your swimmers on underneath and you still have that, you know, that movement, that room to move around, really comfortable, quick drying, fabulous. And the beauty of swim fabrics these days, there are so many incredible prints available that it doesn't have to just be for a pair of swimmers or for the beach or for the pool. You can pop on a pair of sneakers, a pair of sandals, whatever you like, and it makes a fabulous day dress as well. And the fabric is actually quite cool. So this fabric is swim fabric, as I said, um, from Remnant Warehouse. And for the trim, I've used an animal print spandex from Boo Designs. Bamboo is a fabric that I love for nightwear. It gives you that, the breathability, it gives you that little bit of warmth in the winter, it's cool in the summer, 
and it's just the colors are so so vibrant um, this I specifically made as a nightie um, I used the little cap sleeve and then I did a rib uh, stripe neckline just for a little bit of contrast I still put the pockets in and then you can see here um, how it does sit a little bit lower this fabric is quite heavy I think it's about a 240 250 GSM um, it's the heavyweight bamboo from Knitwit which is beautiful quality um, I need to grab some more to make some little t-shirts in it because it is so divine and then I've done the shirt tail um, I haven't hemmed it yet <laughs> and yeah it's just beautiful lovely soft easy nighty I'm all covered up maybe that's not a good thing hmm <laughs> it's comfortable let's say I'm gonna have breakfast in it this little number is the low neckline in the short sleeve so you can see it finishes just above my elbow the low neck sits wider through the shoulder and it sits lower at the front and the back neckline so it's lovely and loose and relaxed if you kind of like to wear it out on your shoulders or you don't mind if it's going to fall down just be aware and be aware too if you're using quite a loose knit fabric with not a lot of resilience this will grow a lot so make sure you at least use a fabric with um, some lycra in the neckline and one of those more stable fabrics I personally would err on the side of caution and make the relaxed neck first and then make the low neck next let's look at the half sleeve this is double brush poly it is from knit pop um, it is beautiful the print look at the print isn't that amazing and I've just done the same fabric in the pockets and the neckline and as I said this is um, the crew neck then the half sleeve with the relaxed cuff and the shirt tail hem on and it's so easy to just dress this one up dress this one down because the print is so strong so for a really casual summer look throw in a pair of sandals and you really don't need anything else I love a pair of sneakers I'm always in a hurry so sneakers for me works really really well and sneakers goes along with the loungewear trend because they're comfortable so comfort is key here is my tartan lounge dress so the half sleeve um, I've cut the um, cuff on the bias just because I thought it was a little bit cute and then I've done the relaxed neck and contrast on the pocket and this one I actually put the contrast on the inside as well and then here and then because I added a center back seam because I didn't have enough fabric I've added a little element so that you can't tell that I'm really really bad at matching stripes how cute is that so adding something novelty like that is just it kind of makes your center back seam purposeful um, which I think it, it kind of elevates the look elevates you look more expensive so that contrast and it's just really subtle it's like I I love I mean you probably know by now I love simplicity I've always loved simplicity but I love those just those little elements of detail that make something a little bit surprising and for me that is just the cutest little thing so this is a double brush poly from lush um, and this as well and I've done the regular hemline this time let's talk dressing up our lounge dress this is a beautiful beautiful fabric this is from Tosuti and it is just it's a jacquard knit um, it only has horizontal stretch there's no vertical stretch at all like not even give there's there's nothing and it still works really really well the only thing you need to be careful of in a two-way stretch with no vertical give is that your sleeve is still going to fit and if it's not there's instructions in the tutorial and that it's not too tight 
around here, which means it'll pull up. So you still want all that looseness and a two-way fabric is fine. So I chose not to put any pockets and it's again the shirt tail. I've worked on a pair of boots, contrast cuff, um, and this is just in a merino wool. And then the same fabric in the relaxed neckline and the half sleeve. Gorgeous, just subtle, subtle statement with the fabric and a really comfortable design for those work days when you kind of want to still lounge around. Take a look at this beautiful fabric. It's got elements of gold and then glossy black paint. And then all of this is a jacquard knit and you can see it, all the threading on the inside. It is absolutely amazing. Let's talk color blocking. Color blocking does not have to be hard. With this one, it's very subtle, but you can see that I've used one fabric here and another fabric here. So back and front on the right side is this poly knit. And this is from Brian's on the Sunshine Coast. And then the other side is a double brush poly from Lush in the half sleeve with the relaxed neckline, which I've done in the double brush poly. Um, gorgeously relaxed cuff, no pockets, and the shirt tail hemline. Now, all I did for this one is I added seven mil to the front, the center front and the center back seam of the pattern, just cut it out and whipped it up. Um, the thing, if you do a print on print, like be, be adventurous. If your fabrics are a similar, like mine are, like an animal print and an animal print, try and make your colorings the same. So same background, very, very similar background. Um, and the same, you know, I've got the browns and this one's darker, but it's still tonal with this one. And then the black, and then they're both on a cream background. Um, and if you want to go contrast, like say a check with a floral or, uh, you know, something abstract, match your colors and then it's just more harmonious. And then if you say you want to add a whole lot of different stripes, you could add a whole lot of different stripes together or spots together, but just have something that runs through, you know, whether you use two or three fabrics, something, some common thread, you know, it could be that they all have a little bit of black in them or a little bit of white in them. It's really up, up to you, but it is not difficult to do and it is fun to be adventurous and it means you can use up um, your scraps that you only had a little bit left of. This is a beautiful Italian viscose elastane from Tsushi, half sleeve. I've done the V-neck, the regular hemline and no pockets. And it is so cool and lovely and soft. Now, the thing that you do need to remember and take into account is with viscose, rayons, and then also bamboos and models, they do stretch a little bigger on the body. So they are going to feel a little bit bigger on the body. So for that reason, make sure it has elastane. If it doesn't have elastane, it's a grower. It just grows and grows and grows. And whether that's Width-wise or lengthwise, um, it's kind of up to your fabric and which has the greater stretch, which way. Um, so yeah, you definitely do want an element of elastane, the higher the better. So if it's around 2%, just know it, it probably will still grow. Even with, um, this one has 6% and even with this one, it does, you can see the, the V-neck does sit lower than my other one, but it's still just, beautiful and just casual and easy. Now, the great thing about a busy print and an expensive fabric, you can hide a center back seam. So at the back here, you can barely see it. And it means that I can get it out of a smaller piece of fabric by just adding that center back seam to the passion. And again, so easy and versatile and comfortable on a summer's day. If you need to go out, work on a pair of sneakers, and you look gorgeous and you feel comfortable just like you're at home lounging around 
but you're out and about looking chic. Okay, let's do winter. Now, this is the one that you saw. Um, it was my pattern hack that inspired me to actually make the dress. And then we have the beautiful pockets. We have the long sleeve with the relaxed cuff. Now, it's not a fitted cuff. If you wanted to make it a fitted cuff, go ahead and make it a fitted cuff. But it's just that lovely, you know, that just sits just below your wrist. Um, do have a look at your, your sleeve length. I have to take two centimetres out because my arm is a little bit shorter. Um, and it does look better. You don't sort of want it pulling down here all the time. So just find the perfect length for you. It will change if you have a super stretchy fabric. So just keep that in mind. And then we have this adorable hood. And I've added a leather shoelace for a drawstring. It has these cute little silver ends. Super easy to wear. You don't have to add a drawstring if you don't want to. You don't have to add pockets if you don't want to. And then this is the shirt tail hemline. And then for a little bit of warmth, I've added some tights and some boots. And this one is a waffle print from Lush. Next up, we have, again, the long sleeve. This time, I haven't actually put the cuff on, so I've ended it just above my wrist for just a lovely, easy look. And then I've done, um, I've put a seam across the pattern. It probably needs to be a bit lower. If I did it again, I'd do it a bit lower. This is kind of hitting me halfway through the bust. And then I've got some pockets and the hood and the shirt tail hemline. This is a, a double brush poly and a Liverpool, both from Lush. And it's just super easy and comfortable. And I love a stripe with an animal print. I love those combinations together. And of course, it looks just as cute with a pair of sneakers. It's just so easy and gorgeously versatile and so much fun to play with. If you've always wanted to try sort of playing around with different combinations, choose an easy pattern and just have fun. And then lastly, we have a funnel neck and I've combined it with the extended sleeve. So on the extended sleeve, you don't have a cuff. You just have a longer section of the sleeve, but it's still relaxed at the end, like the cuff. Um, if you don't like that, just take it in. You can easily just taper it all the way up. So wait till you've got it on and then try it. And so that finishes below the elbow and then you have the cuff. So whatever um, adjustments you do to your sleeve on the long sleeve pattern, you'll have to do the same ones to these. And then this is the funnel and it's gorgeously big funnel and you can just play around however you want to wear it is how you wear it. And it's going to look different in fabrics that are super soft, soft and stretchy like this one or in the ponty that I will show you in a sec. I've added contrast to the pockets and added the shirt tail hemline. Now, one thing I will note, if you're doing um, the funnel neck, the funnel neck goes on the low neckline. Now, the low neckline is very wide and very open, so take that into account with the fabrics that you choose. This fabric in particular is super, super stretchy. Um, I have to change my differential feed on my overlocker, which I very, very rarely do. Um, otherwise, it waves. You'll see a note in the beginning of the tutorial just talking about that a little bit. Um, and then I actually also added some um, clear rubber because it was falling off my shoulders because the fabric doesn't have enough resilience. It doesn't bounce back. It kind of stretches and just... It's just, it's beautiful and soft. You just need to take its personality into account and be aware of those things. Um, now, if you wanted a smaller neckline, you could use either the turtleneck from the unwind, so that's like nice and close, and you'd use um, the neckline from the unwind as well, 
or you could use the cowl neck from the BUT that will go on this as well. So transfer both the neckline that it goes on and the cowl neck pattern piece and you'll have a closer neckline. And this is a sweater knit from Russell's Fabric in Brisbane and you can see the beautiful drape that a sweater knit or a hutchie will give you. Drape and warmth. But this is just beautifully soft in winter. Um, pair of leggings and you're gorgeously comfortable. See? Super cute with leggings and you add that little element of warmth. And choose a nice quality winter fabric and there's no reason you can't dress that up with a pair of boots and wear this look to work. And you're chic and you're comfortable both at the same time. And you've got pockets. Last up we have a fabric with a lot of body. This is quite a thick ponty. Um, it's really, really soft to the touch, but it has its own personality. So it has its own shape. It's going to be the dominant one in our relationship. So you can see here, you can see that the funnel neck stands up on its own. I didn't have any problem with the neckline. It's got um, a lot of elastane in this fabric. This is the extended sleeve. And as I said, the funnel neck and the pockets. And this is the high-low hemline. So it comes quite a bit above the knees and then down low at the back. And for me, it's, an, it's a gorgeous, it's almost like a jumper, but it has that loose kind of dress feel to it. And it's just beautifully wintry. The fabric is really, it's a really subtle snake print. Um, the fabric is from fabric.com. Um, I probably bought it quite some time ago actually. Last year could have been the year before and I actually didn't know what to do with it but then Liv made her first one out of Ponty and I thought you know what I'm going to give it a go. If it doesn't work it doesn't work and it works. So this is what I probably consider be a rebel fabric because you don't know how it's going to turn out. I think this would look perfect with some pattern tights so you can still see your leg through it um, and then obviously a pair of boots. Super cute. Or soften it down with leggings and a pair of sneakers. If you are wanting to layer up your looks, whether it's to go out, to lounge around at home on the couch, to hang out with your family or if you're at the beach, the Embrace Me Cardi or the Songbird Cardi are brilliant. This is the Embrace Me in the maxi length and it's just, I love that you get that, you know, you get the black and then you get uh, a pop of colour. And this is in um, wool. It's fuzzy on the inside. It's super warm. And I probably should put some shoes on with this look. And then this is the shorter length in the My Embrace. Um, it's a boucle knit. So again, lovely and warm. And a My Embrace Maxi in a sweater knit. And I know it's a lot of print on print, but you've kind of got the same colours coming through. So it kind of works. And again, the bat wing shape of the embrace is just gorgeous to wear with the lounge dress. And they have that same feeling. They have that same personality of just lounging around and easy and comfortable, but cool and chic and modern and on trend. So that is all of them. Have you chosen your favourite? I think it's really, really difficult for me to choose mine. This one is a surprise for me. Um, for those that have been watching for a while, I don't um, generally wear florals and I don't wear red and I don't wear yellow. <laughs> it's got all of those things. So just give it a go. You might surprise yourself if you step outside your box. I know that I kind of do all the time and that's what I love about testing with creative people is that they can kind of 
oh hey I didn't think of that and I just find it gorgeously inspiring so from tomorrow morning you see those gorgeously inspiring ladies dresses all sewn up and photographed and they have done such an amazing job so from tomorrow morning we kick off sneak peek week with the test of photos with Mel's photo um with Mel's first photo and then that will run all the way from the beginning to the end of the pattern release the girls will show photos in in different sizes different fabrics each day um, we really try when we test to spread it out over our whole size range but also including multi sizes so that you know you, you can see that multi sizing does work so our pattern release now that starts on Thursday and that will go from Thursday night um, Australian time and that will run to Sunday night Australian time so that is approximately uh, Thursday morning to Sunday morning in US time but for everyone around the world if you look up the top of the website you will see a pink banner um, and it'll do it'll give you a countdown until the pattern release and then it'll give you another countdown once the pattern release starts how much time you've got left so you don't miss out. Um, I will put uh, the Songbird and the My Embrace um, at a discount as well so you can combine those together. Now our giveaway, super, super simple. All you need to do is comment on this video. You can do it in the group or you can do it on YouTube or you can do both. Every entry counts. So each comment goes in the draw to win one of these for free and that will be drawn just before the pattern release on Thursday. So thank you so much for lounging around with me and watching my video. I will see you in the group for sneak peek week test of photos starting tomorrow and pattern release on Thursday. Now don't forget to subscribe, press the red button.